we immediately said, let's take action and what can we do? Uh, and we, we took two main uh, initiatives. We change our targeting and we change a very simple problem uh, that everybody has. Prospects come to a website and they submit a form. They typically get a page that says, thank you, somebody's going to call you. And then the prospect is left wondering well, who is going to call me and when. Times get tough. Making your prospect happy is one thing, but booking more meetings is a better thing. So we have really focused on, hey, uh, this is not the time to lose any of these potential meetings you work hard to gain. Uh, you are going to lose 60% of your meetings. You really need to make sure that you've covered every piece of your process so that you, you don't have any waste. My special guest today is Nicholas Vandenberg. Nicholas runs a company called Chili Piper in California. They specialize in B2B software and their software helps companies like yours make the most of those inbound inquiries you get, particularly when people fill in a form on your website. So Nicholas is going to share with you some great ideas as to how you can up your game on that and increase the number of conversions that you have. So you'll enjoy the podcast. It'll be great. So let's go and join Nicholas. Right. So welcome, everybody, to this episode of the Sales and Presentation Podcast. I'm delighted to say that on the show today, I've got Nicholas Vandenberg, who's the CEO and co-founder of Chili Piper. Nicholas, welcome to the show. Would you like to give us a little introduction to yourself and your company? Sure. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Chili Pepper. Chili Pepper is a cell tech company. We uh, automate uh, scheduling and other uh, processes for salespeople. This is my uh, fourth company, uh, Tech Entrepreneur. I actually uh, became a Tech Entrepreneur in the mid-90s. Grew up in the south of France, I had this idea of traveling the world, and I, at some stage I landed at uh, Stanford Business School, which was my stop in California. And I was fortunate to uh, get into a student meeting with Steve Jobs uh, oh, at, wow. the time, at the time when he was uh, running next, and the good joke was he was running next to nowhere. <laughs> but, but still, it was extremely inspiring, and, and um, I left that meeting thinking that's what I want to do when I grow up. I want to be a tech entrepreneur and do tech products that people use. So that's what I've been doing. I've had several successful exits. And now at Chili Piper, um, we are growing uh, fast, uh, helping salespeople uh, uh, book more meetings, uh, convert more inbounds, and soon uh, do better emails and and other tools that uh, we may be able to discuss. Great stuff. Now, I understand that you've got a, a few uh, sort of strategies and, and, and good stuff that's working right now that you are happy to share with on, on the podcast to all our listeners. Yes, absolutely. Look, when, when the virus uh, crisis um, became more um, obvious, I actually, actually got calls from investors that say, hey, we have to uh, have layoffs. So as you have layoffs, so as you cut costs, I'm thinking, you know, before we get costs, let's see if we can improve revenues, right? There's always this option to say, what if we can keep or even grow revenues? So we immediately said, let's take action and what can we do? Uh, and we, we took two main uh, initiatives. We change our targeting and we change our messaging. So the change of targeting, uh, retrospectively, quite obvious, but we... Uh, went through all our target accounts, possible accounts, and our university paper is very broad because we, we, we help people book meetings in bond. So pretty much every B2B company is, is, is a potential customer. So that helps us, right? So because we can, we can go after different verticals, but the way we did it was that, okay, which verticals are going to be affected and which verticals are less likely to be affected and which verticals are likely to be positively affected. So we restructure our, our, our list of accounts on the three buckets. And of course, we went with the top bucket first, right? Which companies um, could just benefit from the, the crisis and the switch to more things being done online. Uh, we, of course, um, stopped going after the third bucket. And f- frankly, we did lose some customers, unfortunately. Uh, people went to, some of them shut down the companies, others shut down their entire sales team until things get better. 
so that's inevitable. Uh, but the targeting has worked really well, really well. We we actually have kept growing, which was, it was way beyond my expectations, and uh, and uh, we've been able to uh, engage engage with with, with uh, companies that are very active. The second piece is the messaging. So what what we found is that. Uh, there was, uh, uh, maybe it's, it's worth explaining what our product does now uh, so that you can understand better the messaging. We, we, we solve a very simple problem uh, that everybody has. Uh, when prospects come to a website and they submit a form, they typically get a page that says, thank you, somebody's going to call you. And then the prospect is left wondering well, who is going to call me and when, right? And that process of uncertainty and, and discontinuity typically means that companies lose more than half their prospect. So there's, I heard a lot of people saying we convert that 40% is wonderful. And I'm thinking you mean that you lose 60% of your leads. So that's a problem we solve at Chili Pepper. When a form is submitted in real time, we take the data in the form, we qualify the prospect, we find the rep that should be taking that prospect we dial the rep, we dial the prospect, they're connected. And if we cannot dial the rep, we'll retrieve the calendar, we have the, the prospect book a time, and in real time, the, the prospect is uh, a satisfaction to know when that meeting is going to happen. So that's the thing we do. And um, we uh, had uh, structured a lot of messaging around uh, prospect and customer experience, right? It's such a better experience to see that you, you connected and um, and now we switch because it seems that, uh, you know, when, when, when times get tough, uh, making your prospect happy is one thing, but booking more meetings is a better thing. So we really focused on, hey, uh, this is not the time to lose any of these potential meetings you work hard to gain. Uh, you are going to lose 60% of your meetings. You really need to make sure that you've covered every piece of your process so that you, you don't have any waste. Um, and that resonated very well. Like we don't think of skin. It, you know, it, it, it's a strange thing. This morning I was with my sales team and, and they were talking about a particular customer of ours who were having layoffs. And we couldn't understand why this particular company would have layoffs because they're in, the, in, the good, in, a, in one of these verticals that are positive. And somebody said, well, people take uh, advantage, if you can say, of the crisis to clean house. And so it seemed that there's this focus these days on being efficient, right? So now is not the time to have waste. And so we restructured our message around that, that, that aspect of uh, avoiding waste. And that has worked very well. As I said, we, so we actually, not only we're not having layoffs, but we're actually uh, hiring. We just had more people start this week. Uh, I'm, very keen on, on um, making sure that uh, everybody on board feels that uh, they they uh, don't have to worry about their jobs. So we've been able to do that. And, and do you think that some of the things that you've just described that you've you've put into action because of what's been happening will actually be good ideas for going forward anyway so that this has kind of forced you to discover new channels regardless that will benefit you in the long term as well the the the, the, the targeting is uh, something that you always want to uh, keep up to date right so because uh, at any time it's concerned so uh, ironically when um which i'm sure it will uh, the economy picks up and these affected verticals start again then you want to switch and go after them right because then they'll be rehiring they'll be right they'll be focused on, on acquisition customer acquisition and they'll need us again so where those were like zoom with uh, you know probably beefed up as they can will be less less active so I, I think the same approach will will definitely work but uh, possibly in reverse and with different angles and with the messaging on the forms, Nicholas, I noticed on your website, you had a, a little quotation that said something like 78% of leads go to the people who respond first. Yeah, that's right. It's a known fact. So I want to tell you... Um, or 78% of deals, sorry, not leads, deals actually go to... Deals people. go to people who respond first. Yeah, that's right. And so it, it's, a, it's a known fact. Uh, there... Um, 
there's a lot of choices right now. Uh, you know, competition has gone broader in pretty much every part of the industry. So now you have a lot of choice and, and this, this selection process is called suffice, right? If you find something that suffice, is good enough, it meets your needs. Yes, you could spend more time exploring, but you have other things to do. So um, you're looking for a solution to a particular problem. You connect with three to five vendors. Two of them come back, one of them suffice. Then you go, you close the deal. So the other three didn't reply, don't close the deal. And, and so that, that, that's what this research has shown is that, uh, which is quite intuitive, is that uh, things move fast these days. And if you're not among the first to reply, you're going to lose the deal. What has been puzzling me, oh, go ahead. No, carry on, please. Yeah, what has been puzzling me is that uh, companies, um, until Chili Pepper came along, were okay with a 40% conversion rate, which means they were okay losing 60% of their leads. And that, that didn't make sense to me. I think, how can you be? And it happened to me again last week when somebody said, no, no, my non process, I don't want to touch it. Uh, it's very critical. And so you think, well, if it's critical, um, wouldn't you want to improve it? And what has happened is that if you go with the traditional method without CD Piper, which is a form, a thank you page and somebody calling, 40% is pretty much the best you, you can hope for. If you have a certain volume, right? If you have one, one every, every moon, then it's different. But if a certain volume, because of that, of that very nature that you're going to delay, you're going to miss them. And that's just how, how the, the um, process works. And why did people think well, that's okay? Because they were comparing their inbound process to their outbound process. And in an outbound process, when you have a list of leads, um, of 100 leads, you never get 40 meetings, right? You yeah. get three meetings, right? That's yeah. the conversion rate is between two and five, you know, and we are trying to do better, but it's a range, two meetings. So you have these people uh, on your left called the outbound uh, SDRs, or sales development reps, uh, doing 3%. And then these other guys on the right doing 40% and think these guys are amazing, right? <laughs> now you forget it, that <laughs> they're cheating. People have asked for a meeting. They, they, they were there, they were ready. Uh, so that is a weird phenomenon of uh, psychology that, that sales leaders think, oh, yeah, yeah, 40% is great. So now that we come, come um, with our solution, we typically convert uh, 70 to 80%. So we lose very few, very few. Uh, so we double this conversion rate. It's all of our website. And we have case studies where real people saying, yes, it did happen to me, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, it took chili pepper and things changed completely so um and how do you find them when, so when you sorry when you're working with a company that's 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 been used to being happy with 40 percent, and then you're talking to them about doubling that can can they get their heads around that uh, how does how does they how do the internal culture of those companies uh change to cope with that in terms of thinking they can, you, you're saying, presumably, you can do this. I can show you how to do 80%. You're used to 40%. Yeah, you're right. So, so uh, uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> we met with disbelief, right? You would say, uh, <laughs> and then they, I don't know, they imagine that it doesn't apply to them. So they say, I don't want, and, and understandably, they, they're cautious because inbound is typically half your revenues and you don't want to mess up with half your revenues, something that has been, working for, for a while. So disbelief in the world, it's not a cultural thing, it's a disbelief. And then of course, we have this idea that for many of these leads, you don't even need a, an SDR, you can go straight to the account executive. So that threatens the SDR team, right? Say, so, well, right? So, and of course we explain that they can um, redeploy, um, right? Re, 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 refocus the uh, SDRs on following up on either outbound or, or, or inbound leads that were not as advanced. So maybe people downloaded a white paper that we didn't ask for a meeting, but you want to contact them. So you bring additional revenues from this same team, but there's always the fear of change and, and, and the fear of losing a, a, a comfortable uh, situation. So that gets on the way. So that, um, 
has led us to do all these case studies and do these testimonials and say, yes, it's real, you can trust us, you can try us. And now what we're trying to do now is uh, make, a, make it much easier to try our software because it's a complex software fundamentally. We integrate with marketing automation, we integrate with uh, Salesforce and soon other CRMs. Uh, things have to go right, the form submission, the data has to go to the right place. You, you, if you dial somebody, you have to check that they're available. You, you, there are a lot of moving parts. So we, we, by now we have enough experience that we are uh, moving to a self-service solution where people can say, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to just go through the process and try it on, on maybe on a particular page on my website. Um, so that um, we go over this barrier of, uh, of uh, disbelief, yeah. Great stuff. Now, I understand that you've also been working on some in la inbound lead conversion strategies during the current situation that, that, that you've been sharing with your clients. And I, you know, I understand you're happy to share one or two with our listeners today as well. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, that's right. We, 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 we're fortunate in that we have the exact tool at the right moment, right? So the key thing <laughs> is here, say, don't, don't have waste and boom, here we are. With, we call it concierge or tool, the concierge that handles the prospect on the website. Uh, that was exact right right tool. So um, what we found is that uh, in in these times of crisis, you need even more immediacy. So there are two ways to handle your inbound. You can connect them directly on the phone, or you can just send. Here's the time to schedule. So we we put the more emphasis on the real time connection to uh, to uh, get things to happen happen even faster. So don't take a chance to book a meeting uh, three days from now. Just get on the phone immediately. Uh, so that immediacy that our solutions enables uh, has played very well, very well. Um, we uh, we found in general that, they, as I mentioned, there's this sense of, that in the current climate, waste is no is no good, and waiting is no good also, right? So so the timing mattered even more. So that's what we've been doing, and that's what we've been recommending to. All our customers and prospects say now it's the time to make sure you engage as fast as possible and use use and you cannot go faster than a solution concierge that is in real time. So that that's been a secret and hopefully not so much of a secret because we are trying to bring it to market and let people know that that, that there's a solution for them. Yeah. And do you work with with companies uh, just across the U.S. or across the world, or how does that work? Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, for me, uh, being French, it was a bit frustrated, frustrating that we had mostly U.S. customers. So uh, at the beginning of the year, I had, uh, we brought in uh, VP Europe to go after uh, European companies. And uh, that's going very well, actually, very well. Uh, we uh, have UK, Germany, uh, and, and France as uh, new customers. Because of course the same problem uh, is, is in every country, so um, eventually we would also go to. We we have a few uh, customers um, in other countries. Now we also have one of the big two uh, social networks. And I won't. <laughs> we under NDA, but. Um, using our software for their own inbound leads, right? So they, they, they're using our, 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 our software um, to book meetings directly. And they did a pilot in South America, which was interesting for us because our, our calendars at the time were in English. So we said, are people going to understand? Or it turned out that when you want a meeting, you understand that uh, 3 p.m. means, uh, you know, 15.00 if you're in that kind of frame. So yeah. it works very well. And, and that company... Um, uh, ask us to localize these calendars, which we have. We have 21 languages by now. And they are now, uh, they have deployed a solution in 27 countries. So we see meetings book in Asian characters, you know, you know, you know, database uh, in Italy, in Germany, 27 countries. So it's a very nice thing to, to observe, uh, to see. Uh, these different parts of the, of the globe using our software. Excellent, excellent. And so, plans to continue to expand the business, and uh, as you say, going to go go wider, go wider network across the globe. 
Yes, absolutely. Uh, we, we, we want to go uh, much wider across the globe in our current products, concierge product, and make sure that everybody becomes aware of it. We also plan to expand on the product side. So we're about to uh, an, launch a new solution uh, that is also, also striking by its simplicity. You think that you think, well, how come it doesn't exist yet? At least that's how I think of it, <laughs> which is the ability to um, add comments on your inbox in your Gmail or Microsoft Outlook the same way you would in a, in a Google Doc, right? So um, when you're in sales, uh, sometimes you get an email from a prospect. That happens a lot these days. We have a known discount policy and prospects keep asking for discounts, right? So look, time that to have given you a discount. And so we, so my salespeople keep pinging me. So they'll comment on the email, say, hey, they ask for um, a different payment or different things. And so you, we can have a discussion around that particular email or email thread. And we can do that even if I'm not part of the thread as far as our technology does. So it's a simple idea to be able to chat around the email. Right. We, we're coming to market in the coming weeks with that solution. And uh, yeah, very high expectation for that one. I think it's, very, it's a very cool, simple, uh, yet uh, useful solution. Great stuff. Now, anyone listening to this, Nicholas, how do they, how do they find the company and, uh, and yourself maybe? Or what, what's, the, what's the route in for them? Yeah, so the first thing is to note that uh, we're not called Chili Pepper, we call Chili Piper. It's a play on words. <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> I, I have, have it written down here as Chili Piper. Go, I was very conscious uh, of trying to you, get it you right did, you, did, you, 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 you did it perfectly. If you go with uh, Chili, uh, Ch Red Hot Chili Piper is actually a band in, uh, in uh, Scotland, I think. Uh, That's that right, yeah. Is a pipe. Uh, so it's Chili Piper, uh, Chili with one single L. And if you come to our website, then you, you will see that we use our own tool to book meetings. So you can fill a form and, and get connected directly with, uh, with somebody on, on our team for a meeting. Great stuff. Well, that's terrific. And the, and the thing I've written down here is waste no good, waiting no good. Uh, that's <laughs> a good summary. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really great. So it's been great to have you on the podcast and share those thoughts and ideas. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And uh, the yeah. best of luck with your new product development and your continued expansion. So, um, and it's, you know, so thank, thank you, you once you again. Terrific, terrific to have you on. Thank you very much indeed. My, my pleasure. Thanks a lot for having me.